because you talk about that it's a radical choice to give up drinking and that that we become obsessed with it. Yeah, I mean, it is. But yeah, it is. It's an incredibly radical choice. When I stopped drinking about eight years ago, I did not know anybody that was sober by choice. And we are conditioned to believe that we're supposed to, once we turn 21, uh, indoctrinate ourselves into this culture that is centered around alcohol. We're supposed to do it. We're expected to do it. Um, and as you've seen, I mean, even leading up to the pandemic, women's drinking was out of control. Um, and in pandemic, we've seen a lot of um, increases, like including the liver disease that you just mentioned, including um, binge drinking episodes. And so it is something that requires self-reflection, that requires awareness, and it's a hard decision to make, but it's also an extremely rewarding decision. We have this idea of alcoholic drinkers, and then we have this idea of normies or normal drinkers. And there's really a binary situation which doesn't allow for gray area. Mm. It doesn't allow for the fact that we might be just drinking a little bit more, but we might not qualify for alcohol use disorder, but that it doesn't feel good. And so I spent about 17 years going back and forth and kind of riding the up and down because I was expected to incorporate it in my life. And I think for me, what really changed was understanding that I, it was not about not being able to do it, which I think a lot of us feel like we don't want to not be able to drink. It was really this idea that, oh, I don't have to do this. Right. I don't have to center my life around this. And that was, that was the foundation of what helps me quit drinking.